Bunny and today I got a big beautiful pink box in the mail from Jeffree Star Cosmetics containing the complete brand new Bloodlust collection and oh my gosh. I don't think I have ever been more excited for a Jeffree Star palette to ever come out than this one because especially over the past year, I have been super heavy into, actually maybe the past two years. For a very long time now, I have been heavily into predominantly using purple eyeshadows, purples and pinks, but mostly all purple monochromatic look. I feel like we've come a long way from the days when I would only do like a neutral smoky eye. Oh my gosh. When I saw he was releasing an entire purple collection with purple lipsticks, purple eyeshadows, and purple highlighters, I was very, very excited because for a long time now, I really have been doing all monochromatic looks. If I do blue, I do all blue makeup, blue eyeshadow, shadow, blue highlighter, maybe not the blue lipstick. I am like the Regis Philbin of makeup. You guys remember, I feel, I feel like Regis Philbin is where I learned about the word monochromatic because he was always wearing monochromatic on who wants to be a millionaire. No one cares about that information. I used all of these new products today to create the look that I've got going on and I love it. Oh, please ignore the fact that I don't have a wig cap. Also, sit down, take a sippy sippy because I have a crazy announcement to tell you guys today. I'm wearing lip gloss. Yes, me. Lip gloss, which if you know anything about me, that's an odd choice for me. Today's video is gonna be all about deep diving, doing swatches, and telling you guys about my experience with all of these products. I've been playing with them for the past couple of hours, and I'm not gonna lie, I was actually gonna sneak in a little mini tutorial for this look in this video, but oh my God, I started filming, I had some snafus, I sneezed with mascara on, so I had to go back and clean all of that up. I tried to like use the hair corner, and I was trying to use a base, so the hair corner, and I like a base, which is very So if anything, I can tell you guys, these eyeshadows are extremely forgiving and easy to work with. Even if you mess up, you can go back and blend it out and still look pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, despite the sneezing with mascara on, I am pleased with how today's look came out. Leave a like on this video if you want me to actually do a tutorial for this look. Is that something you guys would like to see? Anyway, uh, let's dive into Bloodlust first. And oh my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but I love when palettes are like this nice, luxe, large size. I feel like you can leave it out on your vanity and just Oh, beautiful to look at. This is what the packaging looks like. Is that what we're gonna call it? Yes, because that's what it is. Um, and then you open it up and it's like, oh, it's like, it's kind of like a pizza box, but it's not pizza, it's eyeshadow. So it says bloodlust on the bottom and then you pop it out and oh my gosh, the velvet texture. I feel like it's like reading through kind of like darker on camera. I truly don't know if you guys are getting like the magic <laughs> shoved in your eyes with how vibrant royal purple this is. It has a cute little crown logo in metal on the top and then we have the knob and that is how you open this baby. So you have a huge mirror in here to work with. And then you have this beautiful 18 pan palette in here. Um, also, I didn't even notice this at first. The uh, actual, I don't know what we would call this, like the area surrounding the pans is actually also fabric. It is a like silky, kind of texture. I really like it. I am kind of like a messy person sometimes with makeup. Like I will just take the brush and like, ugh. so if you're kind of like aggressive, like, like I am, um, it is super easy to clean up like the surrounding area. 
around the pans. It looks brand new, but it's not because I just used the heck out of nearly every purple shade in the palette. You have so many different directions you can take this palette. I love all of the purples and pinks. Let's go through a shade by shade and cook up some beautiful swatches. The entire palette is $52 for all 18 shades. Of course, why did I even say that? What other way could you buy a palette except for to get every single shade? Uh, so we are just gonna go row by row, swatch by swatch. I shaved my arms for this. Thankfully, I did like have the foresight to go ahead and get a clip of the palette when I took it right out of the box when it was brand new because there are so many of the shades this time that have like cute little like symbols in them. Like there's even a shade with a guillotine. I don't think I've ever seen that before, like a combination of guillotines and eyeshadows. Up first, we have Your Majesty. Oh, look at that, a very creamy, milky shade, which is kind of hard to show you guys like on my actual skin, I feel like, because um, I am very pasty and pale. Up next, is one of my favorites. I used this on my inner corner today and right underneath my brow bone to get a nice purple highlight. It's called Take the Crown. So it's like a bright lavender, so I almost said sparkle, it's not sparkle, it's just metallic. There is shade number two. Up next was my all over base shade today. Very, very good for blending. It's called Deviant and it's a nice matte lavender. And then I feel like, of course, if you wanted to add a little bit more, you can do that. Up next, it looks like we're going to get a pale metallic baby pink. I would love to use this as an inner corner or brow bone highlight if I was leaning more into the pinks and reds of this palette. This one is called Wet Jewel. And now <laughs> I'm stupidly trying to swatch with my thumb. I love shadows like this because if you're somebody like me, you don't like to put glitter on your eyes. I think that shadows like this are a wonderful alternative because you really do almost get that glittery look, especially if you uh, do it like I did it today with the purple shade where you just really pack it on with your finger. It looks like you are wearing um, a super sparkly glitter shade, but without the danger to your eyeballs. Last uh, shade on this second row is called Royal Pain. I feel like I used this shade so much today to really blend everything out. And I have to admit, I would not have thought of using a pink shade like this with such a purple look, but I of course watched the Jeffrey and Mitchell, the look that they did using Bloodlust the other day. And he was really recommending to mix like some of the pinks with the purples. So um, I forget what the exact term he used was, but I feel like it really makes a difference. If you couple the pink shades with the purple shades, I feel like it almost like somehow draws the purples out even more, like makes them more pronounced. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know anything about color theory. Art side of YouTube, let me know. We are in the third row, the biggest row, the longest row. And the first shade here is called, I was making sure I was reading that right, Dungeon. This is a very deep plummy shade. I'm using this on my outer corner and a little bit in my crease as well. I feel like this is one of the darker shades in the palette, of course. If you're somebody like me, I also love to use these types of eyeshadows as like uh, a more subtle eyeliner. Like if I just want to make things look very smoky, uh, but a little bit less opaque. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I use like super deep eyeshadow shades like this as my eyeliner instead of using like a liquid eyeliner or whatever. Up next is a shade 
that I'm shocked I didn't use today because it looks like one of those like blue bonnet kind of shades where it's a perfect mix between blue and purple. Is blue bonnet like not a thing outside of Texas? Like do other states and other places, do blue bonnets grow in other countries? Is that a stupid thing to ask? I just feel like blue bonnets is like such a Texas thing. Up next is another shade. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is almost like a peridot to me which is my birthstone, but are you guys seeing this through the camera? Because in real life, it looks like a greenish gold. Taking a thumb into one of my favorite shades I used today, which is called Pink Magic. And I just am now noticing it's called Pink because uh, at least on me, it looks like a super like purple lavender kind of metallic. So I really, oh my gosh, you know what? Maybe it only looks like that to me because um, I layered it over other purple eyeshadows. Cause now when I'm swatching it, it does look, do you guys think this looks more pink or more purple? Look at that. Such a pretty metallic red. I haven't swatched this one yet. Oh my gosh look at that i feel like this would be another shade just like perfect if you wanted to make the center of your eye pop <gasps> i did not expect this shade to be so soft like this because i have to admit normally when you have the combination of a deeper darker eyeshadow shade and glitter it normally has a more like gritty texture to it but this is super fine super soft did i say this is called executioner oh my gosh it's somehow like a dark plummy gray it looks like crushed up diamonds like i don't even think that the camera can capture how truly gorgeous this looks does it look can you guys see all the sparkle on my finger? I used this for my look today. It's the one with the little scepter pressed into it. It's called High King. And how would we describe this shade? Almost like a, can we say fuchsia? Is it kind of like a fuchsia purple? There is that one. I feel like I'm somehow running out of arm space, you guys. Up next is a shade I used a ton today to really just blend everything out. I think that this is a wonderful transition shade, a super soft matte. It is called Vivid Mood. Gorgeous. Next, we have a shade that I think I'm gonna use a ton, not just for creating looks like out of this palette, but just as a overall like base and transition shade. It's like, you know, two, three shades different from my skin tone. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it, but for me, I feel like uh, shades like that make wonderful bases. Last shade is Blood Queen. And that's the last shade on the fourth row. And I used this in my um, crease today. And where else? Probably the outer corner. I feel like it's been so long ago since I did my makeup already somehow. So uh, I'm swatching this on my elbow. Not the smoothest area of skin there, but hopefully you guys can see the color really well. Last two shades, last row of the palette. We got a snake and a guillotine. So um, very excited to uh, try this. Look at that. I feel like that's almost like a teal emerald green. It's like a different shade of green. I feel like I've got like a lot of limes and neon greens in my collection, but probably nothing quite like this. Very different. And then the last shade, I don't think I used this. That is Betrayal, AKA guillotine shade. Camera, clicked out of juice right as I was doing the last swatch. What was this one called? Guillotine Betrayal. So there is that. And I don't remember where it cut me off, but what I was trying to say about this shade is I feel like, oh my God, can we create a new type of shadow? or a new name, new type of name for a shadow called a Demi Metallic? Isn't there like a Demi Matte? Does that exist or did I just make that up? 
figment of my imagination uh because i feel like this is kind of like it, it is kind of like metallic but it's not like super metallic so if you just want like a little bit of shine but you don't want to overdo it this is the shade for you also you guys it sounds like a freaking racetrack outside my window right now do you hear all this traffic it's like eight in the morning traffic jam up next is I have to be honest, when I saw this entire collection, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited for the eyeshadow palette, thank you so much, uh, but probably the product that I was most excited for is the Extreme Frost in the purple shade. It's called Choking on Ice, which is something I have done in my life before. I was a kid, I choked on ice, and um, I thought it was like my final moments on earth, but here I am a thousand years later. Uh, yeah, anyway, choking on ice. Don't try it at home. I love these Extreme Frost highlighters. Uh, he first launched them at Christmas, I think. I think we had three shades and I continuously gravitate towards those three shades. Even if I use another like liquid highlighter or another powder highlighter, from another brand. Um, I am always grabbing the Extreme Frosts just to top everything off because they are so sparkly. I hope you guys can see, I kind of like blended it out a lot uh, when I was like framing my eye sockets over here. But you guys know, I always like to have my little like Rudolph blinking beacon, blinking beacon, beacon? Is that the word I'm looking for? Blinking? Beacon. These highlighters are really good for either way you want to take it. If you want to like really blend it out and then just get like a nice soft sparkly glow, you can do that. And then if you just ch -ch -ch -ch, like the aliens, we'll see it from space. So always love products with a lot of versatility like that. So here is the packaging for this one. The original Extreme Frosts also of course came in packaging like this, but the boxes were white. So you open this up and oh, the extra little touch of the highlighter being in this lavender metallic packaging. I love it so much. Last time we saw the Extreme Frosts, they came in this metallic like pearlescent shade, but just oh, look at that. It's just so beautiful. I'm such a sucker for packaging. Also, can you hear my stomach growling? I think it's like seven in the morning. It's like breakfast time. Ooh, 7.20. What are you doing at 7.20? Oh my gosh, look at that super sparkly lavender shade. I am thrilled about all of this. I mean, even if I wasn't like a purple slash pink makeup person, I just feel like all of these colors and all of these products are so gorgeous for springtime. Spring. Very pastel, yes. The Extreme Frosts are $50, and I think I read somewhere this is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics exclusive, which means I don't think this item is going to be sold on, um, would we call it affiliate stores? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be available at like Morphe or Beautylish. I think to get this product, you have to buy directly from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Dot com. Let's give you guys a swatch. Oh my gosh. I just did two swatches for you guys. One which really shows you guys like how extremely pigmented this shade is. How incredibly highlighting and reflective. And then I did this up here, which is honestly kind of my favorite way probably to use the Extreme Frosts, which is more blended out, but it just gives you a super sparkly, all over kind of glow. The other thing that I use today to do all of my makeup is the beautiful brand new crown mirror. New look, new shape, and uh, what did I do with the box? Where's the box? This is the box that the mirror came in, and I think that this is just called Bloodlust. That is all the little label says. Incredibly spacious. I always love the mirrors that he comes out with for every collection. Like we saw the pig mirror, the Shane collaboration. I don't know where 
my orange Halloween mirror is. I need to find it. I love like the combination of like the crown with the star inside of it. I really like that. Am I sleep deprived? Up next, we have a brand new mini velour liquid lipstick set in Queen Bitch. Uh, so we have a range of purple shades in here and I combined two of the shades to create the lip color that I'm wearing today. So I did a combination of clout and berries on ice. I like mixed them together as if my hand was some sort of mixing palette. And then I used a, this is probably not a lip brush. I think this is a nail art brush, but today, it was a lip brush. There are eight shades in total here. Two are brand new for this launch, these two on the end, and then these six are all shades that we have seen released previously. I am using this bright purple one, I'm Royalty, as an eyeliner today. I feel like I've said this so many times that you guys can probably say it in your sleep, but I love particularly using these little minis as eyeliners. And so that is what I did today. I wanted a really bright, vibrant purple eyeliner. And so that is what I used. Can you tell? I kind of messed up on the wing. You guys, I cannot tell you how many times I did like mess up this makeup application today. Oh, anytime I get sick, which I just was recently, I feel like I fall out of doing my makeup for like usually a week and a half to two weeks. And then it's like, I just forget. I forget everything I've ever learned about applying makeup in my life. Let's go ahead and swatch these lipsticks. I'm gonna start with the two new shades. So this one is called Royal Armor. Jeffrey did say in his launch video that this one is kind of more of a lip topper. I think that I'm really gonna love this because it gives you that glossy, shiny effect. What's the opposite of opaque? My brain will not let me process that, but it gives you that really like high metallic shine of a gloss, but it won't completely cover up the lipstick shade that you're wearing underneath. Very, very pretty and a nice matte alternative to get that glossy look. Up next is the other brand new shade from this collection and it's called I'm Vulgar. And oh my gosh, you guys, a million years ago, this kind of like fuchsia color used to be my favorite color to wear. I feel like I had like shoes and handbags and clothes and everything in this fuchsia kind of color and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like matted down, but already, oh, I love that. Up next is I'm Royalty, which like I said, is the shade I'm using as a liquid eyeliner. Beautiful, bright, royal purple. Next is another one that I feel like I just gravitate towards year after year. It's uh, another one of my all time favorites, like Posh Spice, but this one is Scorpio. And I love these kind of like grayy purple shades. And that is exactly what this is. So there is Scorpio right there. Next is Virginity. Now I have to admit, this is a shade that I'm slightly less familiar with. Somebody in the comments, refresh my memory. When did this shade launch? Like what collection was this a part of? And how did I miss out? It's somewhere in between a baby pink and a super light lavender to me. So there it is right there. I feel like this would make a very gorgeous eyeliner as well. Next is Blow Pony. I feel like this is I'm Royalties, not twin sister, so just sister. Those colors are, I feel like they complement each other very well. Like this is a very like dark yet bright color. And this is kind of more of like a almost pastel yet bright color. This one is Clout, which is almost like a grapey 
metallic shade. I love to use this shade to highlight like the higher points of my lips. That's like a way that you can give yourself like almost a faux like not lip injection look but just like fuller poutier lips is to use a lighter metallic shade uh you know like right here and then like right here so that is mostly where I applied this shade today. And then last but not least, Berries on Ice. And I feel like this was part of a holiday launch, like around Christmas time. The new shade, I'm Vulgar, completely matted down. And look at how freaking gorgeous that is. I almost feel like you guys can't even see, I don't know if it's like the lighting or what, the backdrop but i feel like you guys can't see like how truly shiny and magical and metallic it is so um super messy swatch i did down here of berries on ice but it is like a burgundy purpley shade so here are all of the eight mini velour liquid lipsticks swatched oh my gosh i love the two new shades last but certainly not least we have five brand new glosses for this collection. I'm trying to remember what gloss I'm wearing today. I think I'm wearing this iridescent one, which is called, uh, uh, it's called Iridescent Throne. So I put that on as a topper over all the other lip products I'm wearing today. I really love the feel of these glosses. I think that they look very pretty on camera. I love them for like when I'm doing videos, when I'm taking pictures. I'm still not sure if I can commit to wearing glosses in the wild because of like the wind and my hair and all of that but I love the feel and the formula of these glosses. So I feel like I'm slowly getting sucked into the world of gloss, at least while I'm filming. Oh. The first swatch is Lord Star. And I keep wanting to call it Star Lord, like freaking Guardians of the Galaxy. Other thing that I love about this is like, oh, look, each component. This is like a metallic lavender. It matches the extreme frost perfectly. So beautiful. I feel like also this color would marry really well with the I'm Vulgar shade. I feel like this would be a good like super sparkly glossy topper. I have to mention these glosses have such a like really pleasant smell. It's like a cake batter vanilla frosting type scent. So there we go. Like a fuchsia sporkly. Up next is this shade called Sorcery. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be kind of like a peachy lavender. Ooh. See, I feel like some of these are like such great, well, all glosses are toppers. Or you could wear them alone. I don't know. I honestly don't know that much about gloss. I'm just, I'm dipping my toe into the gloss. That sounds sick. But you know what I mean? I'm kind of, I'm a, I'm a gloss virgin. There is that shade. Up next is Iridescent Throne. It almost looks like it's going to be a clear gloss, but then when it catches the light, you can really see that nice, pretty, pale, purple, lavender shift. Actually, I think this is the shade that I'm wearing today. I don't know, I don't remember what I said earlier, but it's probably wrong. I'm probably wearing this shade, which is called Sickening. I feel like this is another one where you have to like catch the light. I feel like a lot of people would like that because then it's more of a subtle purple shade. Like if you just want to catch like a little purple reflect, but you mostly just want, you know, like a traditionally clear type of gloss. I feel like that's a good like middle, middle avenue choice. <laughs> you guys, my brain. All right, last, but certainly not least, we have the shade Wizard, why do I want to say Wizard Boss? Wizard Glass, Wizard's Glass. Um, That is this shade. This is almost like a rosy 
purple. I feel like even in the tube, you can see it almost looks like it has like a reddish hue to it. Is red where we wanna go with this? I'm gonna say with more rosy. Each of the glosses are $18 a piece. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, the crown mirror is $30. Such a huge thank you to Jeffree Star Cosmetics for sending this over so that I could get a nice early sneak peek. The collection, in fact, does not drop until Friday, I believe. I think it is the 20th, which I think is Friday. Each item was packed in here with such care. I mean, look at the attention to detail, you guys. We even have purple bubble wrap purple paper. I think that the Extreme Frost highlighter came wrapped in this um, white paper with purple logo. It's just so, so much fun. I feel like so much care and attention to detail. It was in every single launch, but it's always fun to see like the little details like that. Also, you guys, let me know. Do you like this backdrop or do you think it makes like the color of the video like kind of weird. Let me know. That was it, the entire collection. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for this? Is purple your color? Has this been like your favorite launch so far? Are you planning on picking it up? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Also, don't forget, let me know if you would like to see a tutorial, maybe this weekend for this makeup look. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon.